Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. In this set of data, we have numbers which differ greatly. For example, in the Apple share, we have a thousand shares with a value of 200,000. This creates a problem when we create the chart. So what we're going to do is to insert a chart. We'll use one of the recommended charts, the clustered column, and click OK. The problem, as we can see, are that the numbers are virtually unreadable. So what we'll do is to create a secondary axis so that the numbers do become readable. So all we need to do to create the secondary axis is to click once on one of the series and then go to Change Chart Type and then we'll choose the line and we'll say make a secondary axis and there is our secondary axis when we click OK the numbers now become very readable because here they are on the left the values are on the right so the uh, Apple shares for example there are 1000 of them with a value of 200,000 as we see from the line representing the actual values themselves. Excel of course helps us to recognize what's what in the chart because it shows the numbers in blue and the values in red. It would however be handy if we added chart elements for the axis titles and the first one we're going to click on is the primary vertical and there I see the axis title which we can edit shortly then we'll add another one another axis title for the secondary vertical and again we can edit that to show what we need to see so all I've done here is to click on the uh, axis titles and simply type what I want. So that's how we create a secondary axis. It's really quite simple in this version of Excel. So it's been a pleasure to uh, show you this, to demonstrate this one to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.